What's going on guys? John Elder here from CodyMe.com and in this video, we're going to look at hot reloading with a stateless widget for apps with Flutter. Alright guys, like I said in this video, we're going to look at hot reloading in the stateless widget. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more like it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm, and check out CodyMe.com where I have dozens of courses with thousands of videos that teach you to code. Use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off memberships on my courses, videos, and books, runtime fee, which is insanely cheap. Okay, like I said, in this video, we're going to look at hot reloading and stateless widgets. So up until now, every time we make a change to our code, we have to kind of restart our app, reload this whole thing, and it's a huge hassle. And you know, it's just no fun. So there's a way we can change our code a little bit and make our changes appear instantaneously on our app while we're developing it. That's what we're going to look at in this video. So let's head over to our code. I'm using Visual Studio Code. And as always, you can find a link to the code in the pinned comment section below, as well as a link to the playlist with all the other videos in this series. So check that out if you haven't so far. So in Visual Studio Code, you can see up here, there's this little button and it says hot reload. Now we need to click this and sort of get this going. But you'll notice if I come down here and like, for instance, change this color, so it's kind of, I don't know, just pull this up to green. Now, if we save this and then pull up our app, you'll notice nothing has actually changed. We have to come through here, click run without debugging, has to go through the whole thing, takes forever. Even though we click that hot reload button, it's still not actually hot reloading anything. We have to actually tweak our code in order for this to work. So it's still going. There we go. And now it's green, right? So that's no good. By the way, this is the app we've been working on in the last few videos. If you haven't seen those, check the playlist. So let me come back over here and change this back and just kind of start this thing again. Now, in the meantime, what we need to do is create a stateless widget and then put all of our code in that stateless widget. So then Flutter will be kind of watching that stateless widget for any changes. And whenever they happen, it'll update it immediately. So how we do that is let's come down here to the bottom of our code and just type in STLSS, short for stateless, I suppose, and hit enter. And when you do, boom, it gives you all of this code that we can now use. So this widget is called my widget. I suppose you could call it anything you want. I'll just leave it like that. And you can see inside of these curly brackets right here, this is where all of our code goes. So let's come up here and let's it's this material app. It's our app code here. And you can see here's where it starts. Here's where it ends. So this blue guy. So I'm going to just copy all of this. And now we come down here to this build function and inside of here, we paste this in. Now, we have to take this comma right here and change it into a semicolon. Right. And also up here, this will run our code here, but we need to actually return it to our main function. So right here, we type in a return. There we go. Okay, so now our code is in here. And that looks good. But now we need to sort of tell our app, hey, use this my widget class, right? So let's come up here. And inside of our run app, we just need to paste in that. And that looks good. So okay, let's go ahead and save this. Now we need to come over here to our main.dart and run it one more time. After this, we won't have to do that anymore, but let's run without debugging and sort of come back over here and wait for this to restart. Okay, restarting now. Okay, so let's go ahead and see if this works. So let's come back over to our code and let's come down here and change some colors around. So let's go, what? Let's make it hideous, <laughs> sort of greenish color. Okay. So if we pull back up our thing, you'll see nothing's happened yet. We have to save our code. So I'll just control S to save it. And when we do, boom, immediately it changes color. So we could change this color too. So let's come down here and pull up, I don't know, maybe a darker green, save this, pull it back up, boom, immediately it changes color and we're good to go. So from now on, anytime we want to make a change to our code, we can, all we have to do is save the code and it will immediately reflect in our app. This is just such a great time saver while you're developing your code. And there's nothing more annoying than waiting for this thing to restart. Sometimes it takes like a minute. No, it's just ugh, no more. And all we had to do was add a stateless widget. We just come down here and see it's this stateless widget. If you want to read more about it in the documentation, look up stateless widget. But really, that's all there is to it. So just remember, you have to tell your app in the main 
function here. You know, hey, use this widget that we created. And we just do that by slapping that in there. And now from now on, we'll put the main bulk of our code in this my widget class so that it's all stateless. And that's all there is to it. So that's all for this video. If you liked it, be sure to smash the like button below, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up for the YouTube algorithm and check out codemy.com where you can use coupon code YouTube50 to get 50% off membership. So it's access to all my courses, over 50 courses, thousands of videos and the PDFs of all my best selling coding books. Join over 150,000 students learning to code just like you. My name is John Elder from codemy.com and I'll see you in the next video.